Norway is a country in Northern Europe that occupies the western half of the Scandinavian Peninsula. Nearly half of the inhabitants of the country live in the far south, in the region around Oslo, the capital. About two-thirds of Norway is mountainous, and off its much indented coastline lie, carved by deep glacial fjords. Indo-European peoples settled Norway's coast in antiquity, establishing a permanent settlement near the present capital of Oslo around 6,000 years ago. The interior was more sparsely settled, owing to extremes of climate and difficult terrain, and even today, the country's population is concentrated in coastal cities such as Bergen and Trondheim. Dependent on fishing and farming, early Norwegians developed a seafaring tradition that would reach its apex in the Viking era, when Norse warriors regularly raided the British Isles, the coasts of Western Europe, and even the interior of Russia. The Vikings also established colonies in Iceland and Greenland, and explored the coast of North America, more than a thousand years ago. Weakened by plague and economic deterioration in the late Middle Ages, and dominated by neighboring Denmark and Sweden, Norwegians turned to trade in fish and lumber, and modern Norway, which gained its independence in 1905. In the 1970s, the exploitation of offshore oil and natural gas became the major maritime industry. In the 1990s, Norway became one of the world's leading petroleum exporters. Lying on the northern outskirts of the European continent, and thus avoiding the characteristics of a geographic crossroads, Norway has maintained an excellent homogeneity among its people. The country shares a land border with Sweden, Finland, and Russia. In fact, the border between Norway and Sweden is approximately 1,010 miles long, which is each country's longest land border. Meanwhile, Norway's border with Finland is just 457 miles long and the country's border with Russia's Pechingsky district is only 121 miles long. Additionally, while Norway only shares a land border with three other countries, it also has a number of maritime borders. In particular, Norway has a maritime border with the United Kingdom and the Faroe Islands in the North Sea, and with Denmark through the Skagerrak. It also has a maritime border with Russia in the Barents Sea. Officially, Norway is divided up into 11 different administrative regions, which are called counties. Before 2017, there were actually 19 different counties, though the government decided to consolidate some of them to form larger counties, officially reducing the total number to 11 in January 2020. Moreover, Norway has traditionally been divided up into five geographical regions, which have no official purposes, though are rooted in topographical, cultural, and historical connections.
The country also has a number of overseas territories that are not part of any county. The two Northern Hemisphere territories, Svalbard and Jan Mayen, are considered unincorporated regions of the country and only Svalbard has a permanent civilian population. Meanwhile, the Southern Hemisphere territories in the Subantarctic and Antarctic, Peter Island, Bouvet Island, and Queen Maud Land, are considered dependencies. None of Norway's southern dependencies have a permanent population. Aptly named, the Northern Norway region is the northernmost part of the country. It includes the counties of Troms, Finnmark and Nordland, which is about 35% of mainland Norway's total area. Often called the land of the midnight sun, much of northern Norway is located above the Arctic Circle. As a result, it is a great place to see the northern lights in the winter months or to experience all-day sunlight in the summer. Northern Norway is a multicultural region that's home to Norwegians, the Sami people, Finns, and a sizable Russian population. Topographically, the region is quite diverse, with fjords, islands, alpine terrain, glaciers, and spruce forests. The region is also known for being home to the Lufudan Archipelago, which is a truly stunning collection of mountainous islands. Northern Norway is a particularly fantastic place to hike and adventure, thanks to its many national parks and recreation areas. Located just to the south of northern Norway in the central part of the country, Trundelag is one of the country's most agricultural regions. Containing just one country, Trundelag, the region includes 38 municipalities as well as some sizable cities, including Trondheim and Steinshare. Trundelag is known for its art scene, as well as its unique cuisine. It's mainly known as a regional moonshine, traditionally used to make a mixed drink called karsk when mixed with coffee. Encompassing all of southwestern Norway, the western Norway region is a rugged coastal area. It includes the counties of Romsdal, Vestland, and Rugalan, and is home to about one-fourth of Norway's population. Due to its coastal location, Western Norway has a historical connection with other nearby countries and territories, such as Iceland, the Faroe Islands, Denmark, the Netherlands, Ireland, and the United Kingdom. As the third largest region in the country by area, Western Norway is home to a great diversity of landscapes. This includes glacially capped peaks, sandy beaches, and massive cliffs. During the Norse period, many people left what is Western Norway and settled throughout the North Atlantic.
As the name suggests, Southern Norway includes the southernmost part of the country, which is normally defined as the country of Ogder. The region is known for being a major hub for shipping, recreation, and commerce within Norway. Unlike many of the more northern regions of the country, southern Norway is hilly, rather than heavily mountainous, though there are plenty of sizable valleys and fjords. The only part of Norway to have completely landlocked counties, eastern Norway is the most populous part of the country and one of its most mountainous regions. Eastern Norway contains the highest peak in the country, Galdhapiggen, as well as a number of major mountainous areas. It also includes parts of a number of important valleys, such as Osterdal, Valdres, and New Metal. Additionally, Eastern Norway contains the historic Telemark region, which is sometimes referred to as the birthplace of skiing. In the northernmost part of Norway, Svalbard is an unincorporated, locally administered archipelago in the Arctic Ocean. Also called Spitsbergen or Spitsbergen in some languages, Svalbard is located between 74 degrees and 81 degrees north and has a long history of being used for whaling and coal mining by Basque, Norwegian, English, and Russian sailors and prospectors. After the Svalbard Treaty of 1920 and the Svalbard Act of 1925, the archipelago became part of the Kingdom of Norway. However, Svalbard is unique insofar as it is a free economic zone, a demilitarized zone, and is open to settlers from around the world. It is also a major station for scientific research, particularly in the town of Nyolasund. There are also international research stations scattered around the archipelago. Norway's other northern territory, Jan Mayen is a small island that's just 34 miles long in the middle of the Arctic Ocean. The island is located 370 miles to the northeast of Iceland, 310 miles from Greenland, and 620 miles from Norway, so it's not exactly the easiest place to get to. Much of Jan Mayen is mountainous, with the volcano Berenberg taking up much of the northern half of the island. The island is used as a military and meteorological outpost and has no permanent residence.
Supplies are brought to the island multiple times each year by plane, though the island's landing strip is for official use only. Visitors traveling by boat or ship, can often make landings on the island with the military base commander's permission. Due to the country's vast land area, the geologic history of Norway is complex. However, the majority of the country's rocks are quite old, with some dating back nearly 2.7 billion years. Evidence of metamorphism is apparent throughout Norway, with gneisses and found throughout much of the country. The country has also experienced a number of igneous intrusions over the years, with many large outcroppings of granites throughout the southern half of Norway. Moreover, there are some sizable outcroppings of sedimentary rock, particularly in the eastern half of the country. Much of the country's mountains are believed to have formed around 400 million years ago during the Devonian and Ordovician, when Norway, was actually located in the tropics. During this time, a major mountain building event known as the Caledonian Orogeny helped create the mountains in Ireland, Scotland, Svalbard, Eastern Greenland, Norway, Sweden, and other parts of Northern Europe. This mountain building event led to the formation of most of Scandinavia's major mountains, which are collectively referred to as the Scandinavian Mountains. In more recent years, particularly during the Pleistocene, much of Norway was covered in ice. This glacial maximum helped to carve out many of the topographical features that we see in Norway today, such as the country's fjords and large valleys. Norway is also a particularly resource-rich country. It has many large reserves of petroleum, nickel, titanium, natural gas, olivine, limestone, coal, and iron ore. In fact, Norway is the world's fifth largest oil exporter and third largest exporter of natural gas, thanks to its many offshore oil rigs. Thanks to Norway's large land area and major variations in latitude, it is home to a wide range of different flora and fauna. The country actually inhabits a number of different climatic regions, each of which has its own unique ecosystems. While the southernmost parts of the country are home to lime trees, 
oak, Norway maple, cherry, hazel, beech, yew, and holly. The majority of the country's forested region is home to boreal woodlands. The most typical species found in these boreal forests is Norway spruce. One can also find mountain birch, aspen, pine, and other similar trees throughout the region. Meanwhile, the highest elevation regions of Norway are home to alpine tundra, which actually covers about one-third of the country's land, even after excluding Jan Mayen and Svalbard. Here, the dominant plant species are heathers, shrubs, heaths, and grasses, as well as a variety of wildflowers. As far as animals go, Norway contains a wide array of wildlife species. Animals include wild boar, muskox, fallow deer, elk, red deer, roe deer, and reindeer. Other major species include the Eurasian lynx, European polecat, Eurasian wolf, brown bears, arctic foxes, European badgers, stoats, pine martens, and wolverines. Svalbard also has a major population of polar bears, though they are not generally found in mainland Norway. Although it occupies almost the same degrees of latitude as Alaska, Norway owes its warmer climate to the Norwegian current which carries 4 to 5 million tons of tropical water per second into the surrounding seas. This current usually keeps the fjords from freezing, even in the Arctic Finnmark region. The mean annual temperature on the west coast is 45 degrees Fahrenheit or 54 degrees Fahrenheit above average for the latitude. In the Lufudan Islands, north of the Arctic Circle, the January mean is above the world average for this latitude and one of the world's greatest thermal anomalies. Norway lies directly in the path of the North Atlantic cyclones, which bring frequent gales and changes in weather. Western Norway has a marine climate, with comparatively cool summers, mild winters, and nearly 90 inches of mean annual precipitation. Eastern Norway, sheltered by the mountains, has an inland climate with warm summers, cold winters, and less than 30 inches of mean annual precipitation. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give a like, share, and subscribe.